So if you're a uh, working actor, uh, it's not going to always be series regular roles or starring in a movie or, you know, having a great gig. Sometimes you're just going to have a gig where you are a guest star on a TV show. And I've done a lot of guest starring parts on TV shows. And one of my favorites was doing a guest starring part on Living Single. Okay, there are like three cool things that I remember about working on Living Single. The first was we shot at this place called the Warner Brothers Ranch. Now this was the same place where I was doing all the voiceovers for the WB. And it was during the time that I was doing the voiceovers for the WB. So I would record a night's worth of voiceovers of coming up next on the WB, and then I would go and work on Living Single. So it was really kind of fun. The second one was I got to work with one of my favorite people in the whole world, Kim Fields. Now, Kim and I have known each other since we were so little that I don't even remember when we actually met. It was before she was on Facts of Life because I remember hanging out with my mom and her mom and her at a dance class. I, I just, it was for a long time I've known Kim Fields. And then of course, when she was on NBC with uh, Facts of Life and we were doing Little House, we saw each other all the time. But then after Little House and after that, it kind of, we didn't get to see each other much. And then she ends up on Living Single and I end up getting this part of playing this, uh, like a, what was it, a horse? a cavalry officer, a park ranger in Central Park. And my character is just like this regular cop, but because I knew Kim, they thought it would be funny if I started to come on to Kim. So it was weird. I was coming on to Tootie. I was making my moves on Kim Fields. And Kim and I were just dying laughing because it was like we've known each other for so long. But she was really, obviously, really, really sweet. Um, she introduced me to the rest of the cast. I got to meet Queen Latifah, who I really like as a recording artist at that time. And the first thing Queen Latifah says to me, she says, call me Dana. And it's like, that's her name, which obviously she's got a name. She doesn't walk around going, Queen Latifah, it's time to rehearse. So her name was Dana and that was really cool. And I got to meet all the other cast members and they were so very nice. And so this was like the second part that was really, really cool. And then the third part was, on the call sheet, playing one of the robbers that I was gonna work with, I have a scene with Bobcat Goldthwait. And I was waiting on set, and I was hanging out with this guy. Now you gotta understand, the sets were really, really dark. They weren't lit for the show, it was a sitcom. So we were shooting on the last day of the week. So everything else was kind of like dark while we were rehearsing. And so we were in the stands waiting to rehearse. And I was hanging out with this guy who was like really low key, could barely hear what he was saying, but he was kind of funny, and so we were talking. Well, of course, the first time they call together the scene for us to go to rehearse, the guy I'm talking to is Bobcat Goldthwait, but I had no idea because he didn't have the crazy voice and do it all the mannerisms, which you think by now, being in the business for this long, I would understand that, but still, here I am, not getting the clue. I had a really fun time on Living Single, and those were like the three things that I remember most about it. Of course, Kim is still wonderful. I still enjoy watching that show. And uh, it was really, really cool to work with Bobcat Goldthwait. He was really funny.